Good afternoon, guys. Yes, that's right. Afternoon. It's been partially cloudy all day, and it's on the windy, cool side, like in the mid-60s or so. Um, I reckon it's supposed to reach about 70, but that's about it. Anyway, we'll get down to business here in just a minute. another great day awesome morning um once again i held out i did not give in to eat and honestly i was fine about that um what i did do was drink a lot of tea on sweet tea that way i didn't break any fast or anything and um i did it again uh when it comes to doing OMAD and intermittent fasting, I just, I feel better about it mentally. Really, seriously, mentally. Um, if I end up eating afterwards, I feel so awful about myself. Uh, I feel like I failed and I defeated myself and I sabotaged myself and... You know, it just, it's a mental thing. And it, it is so hard to get over a mental hurdle when all you've ever thought of yourself is as a failure. So for me, doing OMAD and intermittent fasting really makes me feel like I am accomplishing something. I'm mastering something finally because I've never been able to master anything at all you know I can do things I can accomplish things but I've never mastered them you know and so through doing OMAD successfully doing OMAD not giving in to the body when it yells to eat again but just outright being stern with it and making sure not to eat again because honestly when when you eat OMAD right when you eat a real balanced meal that satisfies you fills you up just right and you eat at a good time of the day your body shouldn't want anything else it shouldn't need anything else as long as you made sure that you had a real balanced meal so that everything was covered. Uh, your nutrients, your minerals, your vitamins, um, the right amount of proteins and fats and carbs, just everything combined in the right way. Your body shouldn't have any reason whatsoever to cry out for more. Um, hunger is one thing, but when you go through a hunger stage, you're allowing your body to eat up on the resources that it's held on to. The fat storage and stuff, which is the reason for going into fasting or to uh, allow yourself to be hungry for a little while. So that you can use up the fat storage. So, you know, um, there's just no reason for the body to want anything else as long as you fueled it right at the time that you ate 
And even if you're not doing OMAD, if you're eating two meals a day or even three meals a day, you know, if you fueled your body right, then it shouldn't want anything else. It shouldn't cry out for anything else. So, but, um, and when my body starts saying that it wants more, that it wants something, or like when hubby has fixed his dinner, because mine is a combination all thrown in together around lunchtime. That's my eating window around 2.30 or so. I don't eat a dinner around 6. I don't eat a breakfast around 10 or 11. My meal is around 2.30 or so. So, you know, Obi goes on and him fixes himself something, and it might smell so good, and my body will start fighting me. And it gets to the point, I'm fighting so hard, it gets to the point that I feel like crying, literally. I will sit there fighting my body, and I feel like bawling, literally bawling. Uh, that happened to me yesterday. We got home from church and my body, you know, it was, it was hungry, but I was really feeling lousy last night. And I thought maybe even that it was hypoglycemic. So I checked my, my sugar, where hubby's diabetic, of course, he's got the meter. So I checked my sugar. And I was right in the range. I was at 99. I was perfect, you know. I was normal. So the only other thing I could figure was that I was extremely tired because I'd been up the night before, um, you know, several times during the night. So um, I guess basically my feeling bad yesterday had to do with just how exhausted I was. And, you know, rather than give in to my body and eat, because I'd considered having a small bowl of cereal, I thought, no. Because, you know, yesterday I had already finally broke out of 82 and was in 181. I didn't want to go back up again. I didn't want, want to screw that up. Not so close to being bad and everything. So I didn't. And I thought to myself, the best thing for me to do is just go into bed. And sure enough, you know, that's what it was. I needed to go to bed. So, in raining myself this morning, I came in at 180.8. 180.8. Eight ounces down. And I'm um, 180. I'm on that edge. I'm teetering. I'm about ready to get out of the 80s and say, forget this place. Moving on. Getting out of Dodge, right? <laughs> Where I'm heading to next. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, um, because I didn't give in to my body and refuel it for the fact of the matter is that I needed to just go on to bed where I was so tired, you know. It was the greatest thing that I'd done to not give in. So, yeah. And I went to bed feeling good about myself. I mean, yeah, even though I was exhausted and wasn't feeling all that well because of being so tired, the fact of the matter is I didn't go to bed with guilt on my chest. And that's what I enjoy the most about OMAD, for the simple fact that I don't have to deal with guilt. Um, especially knowing how I feel about overeating and stuff, uh, how that it really did get to the point that I despised it at all. Even when I was doing it, I hated it. I hated myself for it, you know. So, yeah. That's what I really, really appreciate and like about OMAD. I don't have to deal with that no more. And I am very determined to stick with it all the way. And make that a normal habit. Because my body doesn't need that much fuel anyway, honestly. 
The amount that I feed it in one meal is plenty to go throughout the day. I am definitely feeding it enough to go through all day into the next day. There is no need whatsoever for me to overeat. So, I like doing OMAD. I really do. I, I, love, I love doing OMAD. Anyway, to my new subscribers, thank you and welcome. I'm so glad you're here. You'll be seeing me tomorrow with another journey vlog. I love each and every one of you guys so very much. Have a wonderful day.